this is Carmel. I'm the Crazy Cricket Lady. And today we're going to show you how using Offset you can make this project simply and easily. Now we're going to basically take this and hide it. And I'm going to build it from scratch. We'll start by typing the welcome. And I believe this is... By the way, if anybody doesn't know how to do this, this is a really neat thing. Right click, go to image info down at the bottom, and we can see what text we had. This is cupcake. Yeah, something. Cupcake something. So, go to font. Cupcake. C-U-P. And there's welcome. We're going to make this about 11 and a half inches high. Or 11 and a half inches long because that's all the bigger that our mat will cut. So there we have the welcome. And now we're going to type caramel and cordelia. And I'm going to see what font that was. That was Cursive 101. So we're going to change this to Cursive 101. Okay. Now we're going to have to get these closer together. You can do it by separating the letters, but I like to shrink that size down first so that they're closer together. Now I'm going to ungroup them to letters and just make them look prettier. Hook them up so that they're just about right. This way I can weld them. I'll show you a little trick for doing this. Now, select them all and align them at the bottom. And that should line them up just a little better. And then we're going to weld them. And change the color to red. Okay, we're going to make this a little taller. Well, I want to keep it at 11 and a half. But we want to make it a little taller, so we'll unlock it. And we'll make it 5 tall. There, now it's a little longer. And then fit this to about the right length. Okay, simple so far. They're fairly easy to do. Now, what makes this interesting is we're going to take this and we're going to offset it. And we're going to offset it 0.2. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now, take that off there. We're going to change this to red so that I can tell the difference between them. And put that about right there. You'll notice the little tail here. I don't know where those come from. I talked about those in the last video. But it's not important to this. So we're not going to worry about it. Select those. And slice them. Now, the, these we don't need. It's an interesting stripe though, isn't it? Move that out of the way, and then we can put these right in where they belong. And you see the letters are surrounded, and there's no black in the middle. Works beautifully. It's a lot easier than it used to be, and as you can see, this took maybe, what, three minutes? It's all done. Now, if you wanted to make this a welcome mat, what you would do is you would cut them both out of vinyl 
you would backwards weed it. In other words, you would pull out all of these and then put that piece of vinyl with those cut out onto your welcome mat and paint. Use it as a stencil. You would do the same thing with the caramel and cordelia on a different piece of vinyl. And then once the welcome was dry, you would lay down the cor caramel and cordelia in the middle and again, paint using the vinyl as a stencil. And you'd get a welcome mat. Now, I've done these years ago and I don't have the mats anymore and I don't have any more mats to make. So I can't do that one for you, but that's how you do that. This has been Carmel the Crazy Cricket Lady, and that's how you make stencils to paint your mat. Now, the next project I'm going to teach you how to do, let's look at my projects, and I'm going to teach you how to do this Mandela simply and easily, and it's a lot easier than using Inkscape to do it. That's the next project, so talk to you soon.